to tamsguitar.com and as you people have requested this is the second part the chorus part of Carnival of Rust if you haven't checked out the first part you'll find the link here yes click here and you'll get the link of the first part so here without wasting any more time I'll come to it in the first part I didn't make a video using a capo but the original song it uses a capo on the first fret so here I'm going to tell you the original fret numbers, not the fret numbers in terms of the capo. So the first chord is, this is, I think, F add, nine, not F add 9, F major 9 kind of a thing maybe. Whatever, this is F add 9 or something like that. The fingering are, the first chord is this. The fingerings are you put your first finger on the 8th fret 5th string that is F note then second uh, second finger will be on the 10th fret 4th string see this is a bit of stretch a whole step stretch and put your third finger or the pink your little finger or the pinky on the 12th fret 3rd string and keep the first and second string open so the strumming pattern is down miss down miss up up down down, miss, down, miss, up, up, down, 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 up. You are, if you are not used to these strumming patterns, then click here. You will get this link to the strumming pattern. This is the first chord and the second, in the second chord what happens? You remove the first finger, keep these two fingers on their places and put the third finger on the 11th fret. 6th string and you mute the 5th string so first chord everything is same just the bass note is changing the next chord is C sharp this is major 9 maybe C sharp major 9 that is you put your first finger on the 9th fret, 3rd finger on 9th fret 6th string, 3rd finger on the 10th, the 11th fret 5th string, 4th finger on the 13th fret 4th string and 2nd finger on the 10th fret 3rd string and keep the 1st and 2nd string open so this is the shape so chords first chord second chord this is a sharp minor 9 kind of a thing you put your second finger on the sixth fret sixth string third finger on the sixth fret fourth string fourth finger on the 6th fret 3rd string and keep the 1st and 2nd string open so we are doing half half down down follow it carefully down miss down miss up down miss down miss up and the next shape is put your 1st finger on the 4th fret 6th string and sec uh, sorry 2nd finger here 4th fret 6th string 4th in terms of not in terms of capo see it's 4th fret only and 1st finger you put on the on the 2nd fret 3rd string ok so these are the chords so last two chords are sharing a bit down miss down see it's a bit difficult different down down miss down down up then you make a scratch down miss down down up and while moving to the next chord there's a down up stroke 
down miss down down up scratch up down 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 up so the last part is here okay very carefully do this part down miss down down up mute up down down up. so get this part down rewind it and learn it and after this you move to the first chord so okay so deal with this part very slowly this thing repeats twice then see the it follows like this the lyrics is like the rain second chord cuz i'm third chord of thirsty for you love dancing under Skies of the first chord, complete the second chord. Cause I'm third for your love. Fourth chord goes to Nana. Then it again comes back to the third chord. part should refer to the lyrics when i'm singing in the first part then again it comes back to the after ending this don't go to the first chord you come back to the third chord just play then the final the second last chord carnival of riff you come back to the original riff so hope it helps if you have any problem write to me and at info@tamsguitar.com that's my website you'll find many cool backing tracks and study materials major scale pentatonic blue scale diagrams blank fretboards and blah 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 you visit and you get to know and it's totally free as of now <laughs> anyways <laughs>